What's going on guys? I'm the Maha Mechanic and today we're gonna be fitting this turbo to this 2004 Honda Element. Let's get into it. As you can see here, you don't have to do this, but we've got the valve cover off. Um, we're waiting for the gasket to come in to put it back on. Uh, but we are just taking it off to clean it and whatnot, get the engine bay looking nice. Anyway, today uh, we are gonna be working on getting our exhaust manifold, or our turbo manifold, I should say, uh, mounted and getting our turbo mounted. So this is a sidewinder, sits in there kind of like this so that you can mount the turbo in uh, this location over here that's uh, now vacant since we removed all of the intake pieces. Click the video uh, up there if you wanna see that, um, how we removed the exhaust manifold and all the intake pieces. But this one goes on the same way as the old one came on. There's two um, studs at the top and three bolts on the bottom. So we'll get, get it in there just like this. The wastegate will probably face down. Yeah, it'll face down. Um, and it just goes on back here. You can see one stud right there and the other stud right there. So yeah, let's do it. All right, so we're gonna try to reroute that uh, so that it's out of our way. All right, so we're gonna remove the vacuum line from the brake booster. As you can see down in there is a the brake booster. And it goes around, connects to here. There's a hard line that goes all the way over to the intake manifold down there. So uh, that's in our way right now. We're gonna have to reroute that anyway for the turbo setup. So right now we're just gonna remove it. I've got it removed from the intake manifold here, but there's also another vacuum line going to the throttle body here. All right, so just to give you guys an update of what I'm doing here, there is these <laughs> anyway there are these vacuum lines here um this ooh, this main thick one down here that goes from the intake manifold there um it runs through this hard line comes up here does a 90 and then goes to the brake booster i've removed that one and this one here goes to the uh, throttle body and this one goes and is acting as a, a vapor line for the fuel tank or a breather valve for the fuel tank. Um, and that one goes underneath the brake booster line out here, goes into this hose and then from that hose it goes underneath this metal piece and out this spigot, whatever, why did I just call it a spigot? Uh, out this thing here. Um, but now another issue we're running into is the wastegate needs to go where this big metal piece is. So if you look down in here, kinda, there's a bolt right here. Oh, I need a flash. Got it. All right, so here is the bolt I'm talking about right here. Looks like one bolt that just mounts this whole thing to the actual block itself. So we're gonna remove that and hopefully get all this out of our way. So there's one more bolt right here that holds this whole thing on. Um, so we're gonna have to remove that one as well. All right, now that we've got this disconnected, we're gonna have to remove all the things that are connecting to it. But this piece is kind of terrible to get out. Um, you have to remove a clip for the main engine harness that goes through here, another clip for another wire that goes under here. I have to blindly unplug this electrical connector, um, remove this bolt, there's another bolt here, and then all the way down here, once you have all that removed, there's a bolt here that clamps the um, engine harness, and then the engine harness also clips on here. I don't know why they wanted me to clip it so much. Um, anyway, you have to remove that clip. There's uh, another hose that goes from here to that little neck um, that you're gonna have to remove, and then this will come out. So, very complicated for some stupid uh, engineers. Kind of pissed me off. 
All right, so um, this is probably gonna be in the way. So if you feel behind here, there feels like a, I'm gonna say a 12 millimeter bolt uh, behind here um, that keeps that connected to the block. So I'm just gonna remove that and this should uh, get out of the way. Here's that little clip that held on to that little foot of that little metal piece here. Um, this is the hose that you had to unplug. Here's one of the electrical connectors they had to remove. Here's another one. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna remove the bolt back here. I don't know if you can see, there's a bolt right here. Remove that and then uh, test fit it again to see if we have clearance. Clearance. <laughs> Alright, and that's out of our... Alright, let's try to test fit it again. Oh. Yeah, it's all in the stars, there we go. Okay, so what do we have to relocate now? <laughs> We'll All right, so we are gonna need to clearance the, we're gonna have to tuck the engine harness away from the exhaust manifold. Um, the uh, wastegate is pointing directly down towards a coolant line, which is gonna have to be removed uh, and relocated. That's not gonna be too bad. Um, and then we're gonna have to uh, relocate this fuel line right here. Um, because that one's touching the manifold as well. So I'm just gonna disconnect this fuel line um, and move this harness out of the way and then we should be able to mount up our turbo. I got the fuel line put over here. Um, the rest of it is kind of put away over there. Um, now I'm gonna test it again and see if we have any luck. All right, so I just got two bolts on the top, um, studs on there. Um, it's not gonna, this isn't its final resting place. We're gonna have to read a, re a coolant hose. It's gonna have to get rerouted. We're gonna have to figure that out because the waste it comes out right on top of it. Um, anyway, we are gonna mount up the turbo just to give us some peace of mind. All right, we got it mocked up. We're gonna have to do something about this water neck here. Um, probably go with like a lower profile one because it's hitting the turbo down here. So, yeah. But that's essentially what it's gonna look like, kinda. So, that just about does it for this video. Uh, if you found this video informative, please be sure to like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more. Remember, no matter your experience or your skill level, keep on improving.